Good day, everyone. My name is Pastor Lara Obiwomi. I'm the pastor in charge of the Redeemed Christian Church of God City of Mercy, Williamstown, New Jersey, and the Visionary for Kingdom Jones International. I say blessed day to you today. This is the day the Lord has made. The Lord will be with you, keep you, and make everything that concerns you to be perfected. Brethren, it is another Friday today. We want to talk about our homes. And we know that um, our homes must be heaven on earth for us to really enjoy it. Like I always say, marriage is to be enjoyed, not endured. Hallelujah. Today, we, I, my topic for today is a very common topic. It's something that people will say, ah, ah, what do you mean? What does it matter? And that is lying. Lying in most homes, everybody will look at it as what is the big deal? What is the big deal in lying? What if I lie? What does it matter? God doesn't mind. Uh, uh, sometimes God understands. That's what people will say. God understands. Let me look at the book of Matthew chapter uh, Genesis chapter 3 verse 4. Genesis 3, 4. The Bible says, And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. God does not know that in the day, God know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as everyone, as him. So the devil was lying to um hallelujah lying is a huge issue for many people including christians it can be tempting to lie when you think it will benefit you in some way but we must remember sin will always ultimately have a tempting a negative effect on our lives we will never get away with attempting to deceive others as God remembers all things. Imagine the devil knew what God was saying when he told uh, Adam and Eve, do not touch these fruits, uh, this, uh, fruits of these trees. But he lied to them. He told them, he said, uh, because God knows this and that. How many of us know how to, to lie like that? That all we want to do is tell lies every single situation. If we look all around in the Bible, we will see that God frowns so much at lies. But this is not Bible study. This is our marriage talk. I read um, somebody wrote something and put on you know, I, I read it on one um, platform. The woman that lied to her husband to and increased the school fees of her child. We know that the Bible says, if we look at the book of um, Psalm chapter 119 verse 163, the Lord says, I hate and detest falsehood. But I love you. I love your law. It says in Levit Leviticus 19, 11, do not lie. How is it possible, we will ask, that I will not lie? But any home that will stand must stand on the truth. Woman, those little, little addition, those little, little lies to your husband, God detests it. Nobody can uh, deal with, I mean, knowing if you know somebody lies, you won't want to believe them even when they are telling the truth. Stop that lie. You are going to... Uh, you want to go to your mom 
uh, or maybe you want to go to your friend, you know your your husband will frown at that friend. He says, don't talk with her, don't, don't hang out with her anymore. Then you will lie. Your husband says, don't go to this place. Then you will say, well, I want to go to the market and quickly branch somewhere. There's something called integrity. Integrity is another word for holiness. It's when you say yes, that your yes is yes, and your no is no. You do not have to say, well, lie to lie, uh-uh. Let your spouse be able to stand at any time and say, uh, uh my wife does not lie. Or where do you want to write that? When it is morning and you tell your husband, uh, uh, cleaning. Or you forget to do something and you start telling one cover up or the other. So what do we call lies? It's falsehood. Lies is saying what is not true, what is not. Our homes are supposed to be based on truth, nothing but truth. I want to look at it in maybe different ways. This might not be a long video because all I want to tell us is that we should stop lying. Stop lying to your husband. Stop lying to your children. Stop lying to your wife. Stop lying to your parents. God does not even want you to lie. Maybe financially, you are the husband that is lying to your wife. They give you so so amount and you are declaring half of it to your wife at home or oh, maybe she knows how much you earn uh, darling um can i buy this you say oh no if if you check my account now you can see it's fifty thousand, and you have five hundred thousand there that is lie the bible says no liar will make it to heaven it doesn't matter who you are lying to or the purpose for which you lie. God detests lies. So do men. If you want to see uh, the, 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 the good side of God, be honest. Or there was a man, <laughs> a story I heard. Who was always keeping money in his mattress. Always. And whenever the wife asked for money, he said, there's no money. I have nothing. No shishi. Meanwhile, there was money in his mattress. So one day, and the mattress was old. Somebody bought them a new mattress. The wife was so excited that she just carried the mattress, threw it out, set it on fire. Meanwhile, the man had almost almost like 500,000 naira there. So when the, the wife said, ah, they gave us mattress. You remember in those days, there was no phone. I just said, the man started crying. I have money in there. The man, the man said, how can you have money in there? We are always hungry in this house. Some people will say, I'm a kondurani. It is easier, it is very easy, honestly, to lie. Because a lot of people, they don't have to think before they lie. You lie to your children. Things you know you can never do, you will tell them, uh -uh, why not? In fact, a lot of parents tell their children, all, in fact, all my generation, we are all first when we were in secondary school or primary school. I was always the first. Now the children will be asking, then who was second? Who was third? Why do you have to lie to your children? What do you stand to gain? Because if you lie to them, 
You can't use your, yourself as an example to tell them, I failed when I was young. I don't, that is the reason I'm saying you can't do this. You lie to your children that you were angels. Why? You have to stop that lie. Stop that lie. Stop those lies now. Call your children and tell them the truth because you are walking towards hellfire. Your children will go and find the truth of what you have told them. And then whatever you say, you, you, I've, I've heard of a child telling the mom, you are always lying. Or the people will be telling you, ah, why you can't tell the man the truth all the time. Oh, you shouldn't tell the men the truth. Men don't like truth. Why? Let him know that you tell the truth all the time. It doesn't matter. Also, man, the people, some people will tell you that a woman must not know how much you own. A woman must not know how much a man is worth. If, if a woman knows how much a man is worth, it will disrespect him. That is lie from the pit of hell. So you start dribbling your wife with this lie or the lie. How much are you being paid? Hey, you see, when I'm hiding this, it is not of God. For there to be unity, for there to be understanding, for there to be oneness in a home, there should be honesty. Why are you, do you have to lie? There are examples that we can give. People will say, what if about money? If he knows I have the money or if she knows I have the money, blah, blah, blah. My wife doesn't know how to spend. She overspends all the time. So if I tell her and then this. Wisdom is profitable to direct. But God's wisdom does not include lies. Learn to tell the truth always. It might not be convenient. It might not be pleasing to the person. But tell the truth. For instance, my husband says, I don't want you in church. Maybe he's a Muslim. Then I have to start lying. I'm going to the market. Or I want to go and see my friend in, and then I go to church. That church, I presume, I will believe it's a waste of time because you have lied to go there. If you, whatever you need to do, apart from lying, do it. There are so many bigger lies that, I mean, we can be saying one by one. But the Lord is telling us today, whoever you are, Whatever the situation is, that you need to tell the truth always. If you don't know, if you don't want, if what you are about to say is difficult, you don't know, you can be quiet. You can tell somebody, no, I don't want to tell you, rather than lying. When I first gave my life to Jesus, that was the battle I actually settled with Christ. Because I was so bad at lying that <laughs> if I greet you good morning, you should go and check outside because it is definitely no money. And lying, I didn't have to think about it. But I thank God that the first thing that God put in my mind was that lie and anger. I have those two things very terrible in my life. But... If you are not finding it easy to tell the truth, if lying is something that is so mature, your mouth is used to it. Your mouth was be, must be born again. The Bible says we must be able to tame our tongue. Taming your tongue, part of your taming your tongue is telling the truth always. As you choose to tell the truth today to your spouse, to your children, 
The Lord will give you the grace in Jesus' name. Stop that lie. Anything that will cause lie, keep quiet. And think of the truth first. Most homes are destroyed for the sake of lie. Something I want us to put at the back of our mind is that what you know you, you cannot tell your spouse, don't do it. That you will need to lie. Then don't do that thing. It's either you are able to tell him or her or you don't do it. The Lord Almighty, the spirit of truth, will enter into each and every one of us. As parents to our children, as women to our husbands, as men to our wives. A home you want to build, you can't use lies to build it. The house you build with lies will crumble when the truth comes. It doesn't matter how bad that th situation is. Uh, some family, I mean, I used to know, the wife knew that the husband was not the father of the baby. And um, she said she was born again and they kept lying. The man had to go and know elsewhere. If you are truly born again, if you are a child of God, lying should not be part of what you do. If you are born again right now and you still find it easy to lie, you need to go back to the cross. You need to go and tell Jesus to help you out of it, to take that lying spirit out of your mouth and replace it with the spirit of truth. If you are not born again, uh, you can't even tell the truth. Well, no spirit of truth inside of you. So you need to give your life to Jesus so that the Lord Jesus will remove that spirit of lying and put truth inside of you. It will save your soul and write your name in the book of life. God bless you as you give your life to him in Jesus' name. And as you desire today, I decide today you will not lie. If you have any question, because there are so many things I, 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 I can be pointing examples. We all know where we are lying. You can ask questions on the comments in the comments um, section. I will answer you. God bless you. The Lord will make your home heaven on earth. Every lying spirit the Lord will remove from you. As many that have decided to give their lives to Jesus, the Lord himself will write your name in the book of life and keep you standing with him. In Jesus' name. My name is Pastor Lara Obiwumi. Please like this video, share, subscribe, and press the um, bell button. So whenever I, uh, I make any video, you can see. God bless you. Love you. See you next week if Christ tarries. Bye-bye.